Hello, and welcome to our Bobcat Buddies YouTube channel. It's your school counselor, Miss B here. I'm so happy that you're joining us today. First and foremost, I just want to say that I miss all of you and that even though we aren't together at this time, you're in my thoughts and in my hearts frequently, so we're still together in that way. Today, I want to talk about how we might be feeling with all that is going on. There's been a lot of changes and we're all adjusting to a new way of learning at home and being away from our Brook Hill families at school. So I just want to say that it's very normal to experience a variety of feelings at this time. There's no right way and no wrong way to feel. So however you feel is fine. However, if you're starting to notice that you're feeling really big feelings or you're starting to feel kind of overwhelmed, then you might want to use some coping strategies. Coping strategies are things that we do to help boost our mood or maybe to help us calm down and feel a little less stressed. So there's tons and tons of different ways that you can use coping strategies to help yourself feel better. And some things you could do would be to draw, maybe drink a cold glass of water, to stretch and move your body, to sing your favorite song or listen to your favorite music. But today I'm going to focus on two specific coping strategies and they are breathing and gratitude. So you all hear me talk a lot about our breathing tool and that's because it's our body's way of helping us be calm. So it is a surefire way to help you feel better if you're starting to feel stressed. So when we breathe, we want to breathe in through our nose. We want to breathe real deep into our belly so we feel our lungs fill up. And then we breathe slowly and intentionally out through our mouths. So that would look something like this. When you breathe out, really focus on that breath. Make sure that you're taking your time with it. That is how your body regulates and feels better. Now we're going to move on to our second coping skill of the day, which is gratitude. And you might be thinking to yourself, Miss B, like what is there to be grateful for right now? There's so much craziness going on in our world and I don't feel grateful for what's happening. But I'd like to challenge you because there are always good things to notice. So, I want you to focus on those good things. Look for all the little things that you enjoy. Maybe something you did, maybe something someone else did, or something that you notice that is just a nice thing that exists in the world. So you can do that just by thinking about it. Or if you have paper available to you and a pencil, you can write these things down or draw a little picture. So I did an example to show you some of the things that I'm grateful for. Here's my little journal, journal, and it says, today I'm grateful for sunshine, flowers, my cat, my brother's jokes, my comfy shoes. I really care about my feet being warm and comfy, and I have time to work on my hobbies. So I really want to encourage you all to use those two coping skills. Use your breathing tool and maybe practice some gratitude. Think about all the good things. Now, I really wanted to remind you all to check out our school website and our Facebook page. There's lots of wonderful resources on there. And if you have questions about what's going on, if your family doesn't know what's going on, check those two things first because they'll probably have lots of answers to your questions. I am going to put a link to both of those things in the description box down below. So when you look at the little thing that says description, there's a little arrow next to it. You'll click that and underneath it will have a link to those two places. When you go to the school website, you can find my email. And when you find my email, you can let me know if you have some video suggestions. I would love to hear from you all and to know what you'd like to see on our channel. So until next time, I can't wait to see you all again. Please subscribe to our channel so that way you'll get updates whenever we post new videos and you can hear from me and hopefully some more of our other wonderful staff at Brook Hill. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.